Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are checking out my channel for the very first time, I highly suggest that you guys consider subscribing, especially if you're interested in becoming a model. I make awesome content on a weekly basis that you guys are not gonna find anywhere else. So in this video, I want to show you guys a really simple tool that I use to build a professional looking modeling portfolio website. You don't need to have any coding experience. You don't need to have any design experience whatsoever. Um, you can literally build a website, a very professional looking website from scratch in under five minutes. So that's what I want to show you guys. So let's take a look at this uh, site called Portfolio Box. Okay, so this website is called Portfolio Box, um, but there are so many other easy to use uh, sort of like a create your own portfolio websites and I'm going to leave those links in the description box down below um, But I just found this one to be very straightforward very easy to use There's a couple of simple steps um, That you can use to quickly create a website So on the sign up page you just want to like, you know quickly give your website a title uh, select your profession enter your email address and select a password um, once you've done that you can actually start and then just accept the general terms here for this, uh, looking at the font, I kind of like Montserrat. So um, I feel like those tend to look more fashion forward <laughs> compared to some of these other fonts that look like comic book fonts. Let's go with white, a clean look. Okay, so now um, let's start with the portfolio page. We're gonna go ahead and create that. Uh, so these are some templates, uh, as you can see. So let's use the gallery to create the portfolio. Um, and you can just kind of look at all these samples of how the gallery would look and select anyone kind of lean in towards the first option there the dynamic grid but let's see what else is here so let's go ahead and select the dynamic grid and we can always change it um, later in the process if we need to Give your page a title. Um, let's call this, actually, you know what? Let's call this portfolio. And now you can start with sample images or you can upload your own images. Uh, you definitely want to upload your own. Um, it's just like Dropbox. You can drag and drop your pictures. You can upload them one at a time if you want to. Um, I have some pictures already selected that I wanted to include um, for this demo. So I'm just going to drag all these images here and drop them into the box. Don't forget to resize your pictures. Um, that's going to be very important when you're uploading images to the web. Looks like we did have one error message. I guess one of the images was too large. So I'm actually going to show you guys um, quickly once I identify which photo it is, I think it's this one. Um, so I'm actually going to show you guys how to resize your images in Photoshop without uh, losing any of the quality. So this is sort of like a bonus tip for you guys. So to do that, you want to go to File, go to Export. Um, once you get there, um, make sure you keep the settings at the top the same. You want to make sure the quality says 100. And all you're doing is adjusting the image size. So you're shrinking the image to a smaller size without affecting the quality. Um, and you can see on the lower left side, it says what the estimated size of the file is gonna be. So you wanna pay attention to that. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and re-upload that. Hit done. So as you can see, all of the images have been placed into this beautiful grid. So now we can actually go in and start editing some of the content. So let's go ahead and do just that. So now um, when you're creating your portfolio, uh, whether it's a book or whether it's a website, you want to put your headshot first, your best headshot first, then your best full body shot. Next, you want to put your, uh, your absolute best picture next and then whatever most recognizable images that you have, whether from popular photographers or from uh, magazines or tier sheets, you want to put that following your headshots and your full body shots. 
So it's very important that you play with the layout of your portfolio. Um, it's always a good idea to group uh, images that are similar or group images that were shot by the same photographer or in the same setting. So that's what I'm kind of doing here is that I'm grouping a lot of these images that were shot on the same day in the same set by the same photographer. So once you hit done, uh, that's it. That's your portfolio page. So this is uh, a very simple, clean portfolio page. Um, it's completely done with no coding, no design experience. By the way, if you guys are liking this video, give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate it. Now let's go into creating your bio and maybe a contact page. So for the bio, um, you can just go ahead and select one of these templates that you feel works best for you. I'm just going to pick any random one here that looks good. Let's title it bio, create the page. And here you can change the image. So let's go ahead and select one of the images from the portfolio. And now I'm just going to copy and paste my bio from my website. Okay. That looks good. Uh, so now let's go ahead and edit these social icons. You can edit them, um, put in your own links. And you can also uh, change the links if you need to or delete any of these links. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and create a simple contact page. Uh, so this should be very basic. Just go ahead and select one of these templates and then give it a page title. Now, the only thing you need to do here, because basically the send button is connected to your email, um, is to just change the background image. So I'm going to use one of the pictures again from the portfolio. Boom. Boom. There we go. That looks good. That looks pretty professional and clean. Okay. So now before we publish it, let's go ahead and check it out one more time. Let's look at the portfolio. That looks good. Let's check the bio. Looks good. Contacts. The menu is working. Hit publish. Now there are two options when you publish. You can get your own domain or you can use the domain that you already have. Now, if you get a new domain from the sites, uh, you can do a free version or you can do a paid version, which you're going to see in this next screen. So go ahead and type in whatever you want your domain name to be. Hit search. And then now on the left side, you have the pro domains, which are your paid domain. And on the right side, you have the free domains, which you don't have to pay for at all. Now on the pro side, you can look at the pricing page. Um, I've seen some of it go for $10 for a year, which is not bad at all. So this is something that you might want to consider if you want your own unique uh, URL. But if not, if you're fine with having the extension portfoliobox.net, that's completely cool. I don't think it matters to clients or to agents. Um, if you have your own paid accounts or free accounts, they don't really care. So as long as you can easily share your portfolio sites with your agency or with a client, that's all you need. All right, guys. So that's how I go about building a professional looking portfolio websites. Um, I'll love to see what you guys come up with. So once you've created your own websites, please come back and drop a link um, in the comment box down below. I'll love to check out your work and see what you guys came up with. And just as a reminder, we hit 50,000 subscribers on this channel last week. So because of that, I'm doing a special giveaway for you guys where one lucky winner is going to get a free photo shoot. Again, the details of how to participate in that giveaway is going to be listed in the description box of this video. Uh, so look out for that. If you guys have any questions or need some feedback on your modeling portfolio sites, definitely drop a comment like this video. If you learned anything new, or if you found it interesting, I definitely appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next one.